Hey there, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to this video. I'm gonna tell you how to create a barcode with the help of Python programming language. It's kind of a very handy utility which uh, you can use anywhere. So we are using it in one of the products that we created under the banner of Robodia Technology. So we thought of sharing it with you guys. So just just uh, take a quick look how to do just that. So let me open Anaconda prompt. So Anaconda prompt. Now Anaconda is a is an IDE that you need to install to run the Python program. So that's what we use here in our development. So you need to do that. So you need to install a pi barcode library by writing command pip install barcode and hit enter. And this will install this library. I have already installed it. It's just for the demonstration purpose. Requirement already satisfied as you can see on the screen. Now let's see how to write a function to generate barcode with any random number. Okay, so for that I need to open my uh, spider IDE. Okay, that's my spider IDE. Okay, so first I need to import my barcode library. Second, I need to import a random number generator library. So this is called random. And then I need to create my function. So I'm creating a function barcode greater, let's say. Okay, you can name it anything that you want. Now I'm creating a variable and, and I'm appending a function rand range. Okay. And creating any number between, let's say, oh, whatever. You can feel free to use any number that you want. Okay. And then I just want to print this number. So print num. Okay. So let's let's call this. So let me save it first. Let's save it somewhere. Okay. So VJ. Okay. Now let me run it. And let's call my function. Okay, so this is a random number which is generated using this function. Okay, so now let's see if this is generating randomly or not. So call your function again, and this number should be random, right? This these two cannot be the same. Try once more, and you will see another random number, right? So this this is powerful. So this is the first thing that you need to do. Now what you need to do is use this number on a barcode image. So for that you need to generate a barcode image, right? For that I'm using, I'm creating an instance image. I'm using this class and within this class I'm using Now this EAN13 is a is the name of a class. If you want to know that uh, how many classes are inside, just you can do one thing. Just import. Oops, actually, my service on import. I guess it's, uh, I typed it right, so it should be provided barcodes, right? So uh, these are all the classes that you can use to generate a barcode and I'm using just EAN13, right? Now we need to assign the number that we created here to this barcode image, right? And um, that's going to be a string and this is an integer, this is an integer number, right? So we need to format this. So let me create a new instance. Let's go by. Now I'm using a Unicode format. 
and inside a string. Format and the name of my variable, right? Okay, so um, I need to save this image that I have created to uh, to one of my file in my computer. So I'm creating a variable file and I'm using function open. And I need to define a drive where I'm going to save it. So let's say f and let's say um, I need to give the name to the file that would be created, right? And this would be an SVG file because that's what this class would create that I use. So you can explore around and see um, if you want to create another different types of file, you can just explore which one is the right class for that. So let's say I'm creating it vj1 dot svg, right? Okay. And, and then I need to format it as wb because I need to write this file, right? Write this uh, image, right? So then write this image and file, okay? And then just return And this should be it. Let me save my function and run it quickly. Okay. And let me call my function barcode generator. Okay. So my barcode has been generated successfully and this should have saved an image in my F drive. So let me go to my F drive. F drive and vj1.svg vj so this is this is the file this is the svg file let me open it and that's my barcode right as the number and this is the barcode image let me um, actually let me keep two together so that you can see that uh, whether it is changing or not. So let me, oops. So just, just note the last digit. So 4424, so four, uh, 4244 and 4244. This last digit number is, uh, is for internal purposes. This is a random number generated by the function itself. Um, but uh, this 4244 is the last four digits, 4244. So let me call my function once again, okay? and five seven uh, five seven five one two or seven five one two so this should be the let me refresh my image and you can see it's a different barcode right let me repeat my exercise once more and you can see a new barcode has been generated right six three one one 6311 right so that's a very useful and handy function to generate the barcode with just few lines of python code we hope you enjoyed it and if you like this video and want to learn more similar kind of utilities just feel free to subscribe our youtube channel and like this video